Grant Rising family, happy Friday the 3rd. Hopefully everybody had a great week. It, it is Friday, yes. And I'm doing this reading early because I have plans again. So I want to make sure everyone gets their message um, before I, I do everything that else that I got to do. I am drinking detox tea because in yesterday's reading, Spirit said... It's important that we detox and um, purify ourselves, our vessel. And um, the message on the tea today is, it says, your greatest strength is love. Oh, it's the little things. I love these messages from this yogi tea. All right, I'm going to start with another angel deck. And then we'll see what else wants to come through. I'm saging here a bit. I want to thank everyone, everyone that's new, welcome to the family, and everyone that's returning, welcome back, family. I'm put on my other camera here. I want to thank everyone that likes, shares, subscribes. That oh, there's a there's a card here. What does that say? Compassion. Um, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all people involved, including yourself. Higher heart chakra here. Um, everyone that has liked, that shares, that, that subscribes, that comments below, that purchases decks. I'm using one that was purchased by Melinda. Thank you, Melinda. God bless you so much. Um, for everyone that, you know, contributes to our community in any way, it helps the message to reach those that need it. And um, it also helps our community to grow. So I love you. May you always continue to be blessed and receive tenfold infinity and beyond all that you give. I value you. Thank you for showing me how much you value me as well. So God bless you, family. All right, I always like to start with gratitude. I'm going to say a prayer and then we're going to get started. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. May this message reach everyone that needs it, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is. All right, let's go. Let's get started. We have a split the deck. We have time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time for you to take care of yourself. It's time to take to recharge. What is the message for Friday, Spirit? Friday the 3rd. What's the, again with the time out. So weekend is coming. It's a great time to rest and rejuvenate, replenish yourself, maybe do something fun as well with yourself. Self-care, self-love. We have I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Well, that's good news. Stay in this vibe, beautiful vibration of abundance and, um, and love as we are manifesting all the time. What's the message for Friday, Spirit? The third. I love this card. This card jumps for my energy all the time. And now it's uh, I'm connected to you guys, and now it's jumping for yours. Okay, so we have the angel patience and Shanti. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Ooh! So this is talking about our finally coming to a conclusion of that rough cycle. 
right? Um, especially as we approach Saturn um, on the 4th of November going direct. We have um, patience here. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. And yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth at this time. All right, smoother road ahead here. We love that. That means that um, things are just going to be, it's going to flow, fall into place. Um, challenges are going to subside. Hardships and challenges are going away. Okay. Um, your inner strength, your hard work has paid off here with Shanti saying that the angel of peace is helping you here to um, you're finally achieving the goal of inner peace. So even in your family, your friendships, your career, everything is just going to flow. It's just going to be more smooth. Going through tranquil karma waters and the split the deck. We have, uh, this is an energy of balance is being restored. Also a, a harmonious change of a lot of things happening possibly at once, you know, and you're needing to find a good balance between your work, life, love work life family work life friends you know and um i'm getting a lot of things could be uh coming at you at once there could be a lot of priorities and a lot of responsibilities the energy is picking up it's going to be busier but you're going to be able to handle it just fine there's a smoother road ahead here for you at this time all right I, i'm loving this deck it's so beautiful I'm loving, I love the rose gold one as well. They were both gifts from uh, members of the, our community. If you guys would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, purchase decks or anything like that, um, the information to all of that is going to be on my website in the description box below. All right, so we have here, what is the message for the collective for Friday the 3rd? What's the message? So oh, good news is we have peace and tranquility up ahead. Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like if some if if you guys are not in a commitment, um, that's coming in for you. Okay, you guys are gonna be off the market soon if you're not in the commitment already. Um, this is you being very independent, very nurturing, sensual. Focus on your business. Focus on your success. Focus on your you know, the, the, the two of pentacles, right? On um, your 3D world and um, your finances, your family, your home. Some of you guys could be taking care of that right now. Uh, some, some of you guys are, uh, you, you know, you have your own pentacle, right? You have your own business. You have your own wonderful career here. You have your own. So it, it, it feels like here that, you know, you also are in this. Um, it's hard to impress you. Is what I'm getting. It's like it's really not going to take anybody having, you know, things in their life. It's going to really take what's under the hood. Can we connect on a soul level? Can we connect emotionally? Can we connect, you know, spiritually and things like that? Um, I'm getting your value, your standards, your value and your worth is way up here. What else is Friday? So you're Friday you're going to be feeling at home. And grounded. Probably going to spend some time with your family. Earth energy here. Friday the 3rd. What is the message for the collective? We have two of wands. Somebody could be uh, looking at coming towards you. Making plans to come towards you. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a crossroads energy here as well. I'm needing to come out of our comfort zone for some. Whatever it is that you are studying and gathering information about in either of these two energies, it's going to benefit your career. I saw the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The Tower. Whoa. Okay, major turnaround here. Major a change in direction. We haven't seen the Tower in, in, in a little while, right, family? It's what has been, like a last week sometime? Um, a manifestation. Woo! Okay. OMG. 
The tower is the manifestation coming in. Um, suddenly. Suddenly. So, there's a sudden change that's taking place. There's a there's that golden opportunity. There's that offer. I'm going to clarify it. Um, but yeah, that's, when the tower comes in, it's time for a major change. And it's time for us to be put in a different direction. Okay, or there's a different direction that's going to all of a sudden... Uh, take place here and the shocking surprise epiphany revelation okay we'll get more um it's to bring you towards this tranquil smoother road ahead so uh, do not expect to see the tower but as you can see here somebody is taking a long time to come out of their comfort zone with the two of wands <laughs> There is straddling between worlds. We saw the Two of Pentacles as well. So divine intervention, the, t the universe is coming in to help someone out. Action is needed. Okay. So somebody's getting an answer to their prayers. It feels like the, the tower is a gift from the universe. It's an, un it's an uncomfortable way of receiving the gift. It's a, some, for some, the tower could just be a, a, you know, a, a breakthrough. Or a breakthrough at hand, right? An epiphany or a revelation that can change the course of your life, right? Uh, which is like when we're in that hanged man tree, we're stuck. All that we're waiting for is a change of perspective. Some kind of download or epiphany or revelation to come in to get us off that tree and moving again. In, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a direction, like pick a direction, right? So... Uh, crossroads energy needing to make a decision facing the direction that we want to go in somebody may have had a tower moment that's actually putting them in the direction towards you you could be the queen of pentacles let's get some more information clarify the queen of pentacles clarify the queen of pentacles for Friday. This may happen this week in the tower showing up in Friday's reading. I am going to do a, a, the month overview. I believe I'm going to try to do it tomorrow. The monthly message for the to Friday. I'm sorry. Tomorrow I'm going to do... Um, actually, no. Friday. On Friday. Today. I'm going to do... Because um, I'm doing this reading the day before. I'm going to do... November for the collective and for the weekend for the weekend reading okay uh tell me here queen of pentacles clarify the queen of pentacles and I'm also going to start doing at some point depends if my son comes with the baby I'm going to start doing uh the fire signs on patreon show me here queen of pentacles clarify the queen of pentacles spirit okay Wow. Beautiful. I love this energy. That's what happens when you're in your worth, the Empress. You're creating something here. You're becoming a master at, at could be whatever you're studying, what you could be in school. Um, could be whatever it is that you're working on to, whatever you're creating, okay? You're becoming a master at it. You're very committed very devoted to this and it's something you really love to do nine of cups it, it emotionally fulfills you this work this whatever you're studying it doesn't feel like work and you're becoming better and better at it you know this is somebody that's very devoted and dedicated mastering some kind of a skill you're very skilled you're becoming a professional at it you're putting a lot of time energy effort and focus into this this is virgo energy Okay, so folk, you know, where our attention goes, energy flows. So it, it's it's bringing in, uh, we saw the magician, it's bringing in a wish, it's bringing in a manifestation for you. You have been really focused on leaving behind everything that no longer serves you. To I believe that this work is self, because Nine of Cups represents self-love, it's emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. And... um your hard work is paying off. I said that earlier. It's emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. It is emotional independence as well. You're becoming physically independent and emotionally independent with all of this self-love, self-mastery. Uh, that work that you're doing. 
This is personal growth and personal development. I'm also getting, um, yeah, a lot of hard work to get to, to, to the Empress energy here. It, you know, a, a very, not, not the easiest shoes to fill. This is your, what you're mastering also is emotional security, emotional stability, and patience as well, because this takes a, lo a long time. A lot of patience. A lot of patience as we give, you know, this glow up energy. Everything that the that the Empress touch turns to gold. Everything that's given to the Empress multiplies. So, you're in creation energy right now. Beautiful creation energy. Emotionally grounded this weekend or this Friday. Emotionally, that's the energy for Friday. Doesn't mean it's manifesting. Friday, family, t time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. My readings are timeless. Whenever you come across this, and feel, please feel free to reverse the rules. If this is not you, this could be somebody in your energy. And there's no gender here. Uh, it's whoever is in feminine energy and, and masculine energy. But um, yes, I'm loving this energy. I'm also getting, if this is not you, uh, I feel like this is something that I, I, I feel like you're naturally in this energy, which which you're attracting in, okay, uh, suitors and partners that you know um is going to put in it's going to it's going to be very satisfying for you emotionally fulfilling for you and that is going to put in the time energy and effort into you uh because you're in this energy of worthiness all right show me uh the two of wands clarify the two of wands so if you as with this or without so if you're making all of these changes you know internally emotionally and externally naturally we're going to go through a rising of the vibration and ascension here right the things that are that you are you know manifesting here is coming it's coming in towards you so that could be sudden for some it's like once we get once we master once we when we break free from a pattern or we create some kind of a pattern or a routine Right, and we get comfortable. Nine of Cups. Here comes the universe, right, elevating us, bringing us to the next level. Because life is cyclical. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life. But whatever this is, you're creating more of it, and um, you're getting, you know, you you you, t you have a lot of joy in whatever. For some of you guys, it could be cooking. I heard baking. And you're getting a lot of awards for it. You'll be getting a lot of orders in or cooking or baking. I don't know why I heard that all of a sudden. For some of you guys, you're taking a skill that you have and finally putting it out there and you're, and you're successful. For some of you guys, it could be baking. For others of you guys, it could be pottery. It's a gift of yours. And, um, and, and you're becoming, you're marketing it. It's becoming lucrative. And it doesn't feel like work because it feels so good. You love it so much. <laughs> I'm getting that. Yeah. It's very detailed work is, is what I'm seeing here. And you're paying very close attention to it. You focus, you zero in on it. I love that energy. Whatever it is that you're learning, whatever information that you're a student of here in the Eight of Pentacles... You know, um, it's, it's, it's bringing in some kind of a wish of yours, but it does take a lot of patience. Tell me about the two of wands. Know your comments below if you guys are, are doing something like that. It's something very creative with the nine of cups. Very creative. You're very creative. You're very gifted. You're very talented. Um... You just keep multiplying it, creating more of it. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. Because this is kind of a card of practice as well. Two of Wands. Clarify the Two of Wands for Friday. Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, this is this career thing here. Um, it is... 
again with with the nine with the eight of pentacles it takes a lot of patience okay and dedication and focus this two of wands could be you planning on marketing it you planning on sharing it you planning on synthesizing this knowledge into action okay it could be that as well you're planning on putting it out there and launching it right but it's you know it's it's a slow process it's a slow growth i tell I, when i think about for example when i think about our community here our channel i, I believe i i launched it um in 2020 three three years ago almost four now that we're going to move into 2024 soon and i feel like i've been in the eight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles energy with it being guided you know um as we progress and heal and ascend together and grow together you know uh listening to my goddess and my intuition and moving at that in that in this pace right of um this is somebody here that pays a uh, very close is, is is cautious yes but wants to make sure they, they they get it right and they do it right and they pay attention to the details and and they and they move they move rather slow that this is a slow and steady night it's not like it, it's quality it's quality that's why it's not about the quantity it's about the quality for this person and they're very organized and detailed and calculating and strategist and, you know, um, cautious. So. I'm getting this. Could, this could be you or, or this could be a completely different energy because I feel like you're over here. I feel like this is somebody planning to come towards you. I feel like you're over here minding your own business. OK, doing your own thing very solid very you know uh i would say solitary but independent energy with the nine of cups eight eight of pentacles and the queen of pentacles just sitting there focused on the things that brings you joy that makes you happy that satisfies you living in the moment living your life doing a job or in your career that you actually love which is the, the key to success and happiness right is uh you finally doing something you're passionate about doing something that you love that you're good at Meanwhile, <laughs> behind you here, what you're not seeing is that somebody is, is planning and moving ra rather slowly, still with this night. We have not come out of this uh, unless the tower is moving, is putting a kick in someone's step. Haven't really moved much. This is somebody that's still planning, still strategizing, still in between worlds. Okay. Somebody that's still... Uh, haven't really, you know, taken that leap or haven't really come, you know, north node, south node energy, have stuck in between, haven't really, um, come out of their comfort zone, moving very, very slow. Tell me, yeah, we have uh, justice here at the bottom of the, oh, okay, okay. It's, it's because they're going, the reason why they're moving slow is because they're going through some kind of a possible court battle here. Five of Wands, the Emperor, and Justice. Or will be. Possibly over, over a child. As you can see, there's a child on this horse. The pages are child-like energy. Okay. Um, tell me here about the Knight of Pentacles here with the Two of Wands. Major change. Yeah. Major change twice. Uh, and we have a King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody that has a lot of emotions, very sensitive, very deep, an empath, a healer, psychic and intuitive, creative energy here. That is connecting more with their... Wow, I love this. Oh, yeah. Going through a dark night here with the moon card. Could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's Virgo again. Going through a dark night. Just looking at everything, family. Every single detail of everything, okay? Um, a very critical person as well. But looking at their stuff, looking at the past, looking, sitting there, meditating, contemplating, analyzing, in deep thought here, right? 
healing in prayer and meditation, healing their emotions, connecting more with their emotions and their intuition with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, connecting more with their intuition, their inner knowing here. Softening, right? Listening more. Connecting with their emotions, healing their emotions, becoming emotionally balanced, stable, secure, intelligent even. This inner work, this inner discovery is really helping this person. This person has been healing, praying, resting, meditating, recharging, okay? Um, and this work is actually leading to this change. Somebody's going to get an answered prayer. So, <laughs> this movement, this offer, this direction that this person is going towards now... We're going to clarify the tower that put this person on this path, on this direction. It's their destined path. It's the, the, the path of their soul's path, their soul's journey. The wheel of fortune, the four fixed signs here. Kansas, no. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Um, very stable, very loyal energy. You could be dealing with somebody that has that in their chart. Uh, any of those four signs. Because I'm getting with the Knight of Pentacles is somebody steady, loyal, reliable, dependable, not movable, right? Uh, major change in, in your relationship with the King of Cups here could be, you know, love in your work as well as your home, especially with the tower here. Something is being, the crumbling, something is being removed because divine timing has arrived. Uh, the, 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 the wheel of fortune, this move here is going to bring in a lot of expansion, good luck, good fortune, success, money as well, okay? Uh, and, it, it, and it's destined and faded. So somebody's finally facing the direction of their destiny. Whether they're making moves, they see it clearly. They see the path. They're not actually making a lot of moves but i do feel like physical moves but i do feel the the the, the changes that's taking place currently for this person is internal and that's what's creating that's what's putting them on the wheel because as within so without it had to be internal first four of swords the soul searching introspecting self-reflecting here hermit right Somebody that was not very, you know, uh, a little disconnected from their emotions with the Four of Cups. That was in a state of illusion and confusion. Things that were being hidden to this person. They're going within to find that hidden treasure with the Hierophant. Going within with the Four of Swords. At doing the actual work. Resting, going into stillness, and it's in the stillness that you can connect with the water element, the sacral chakra, the feminine energy. Feminine energy, the moon. You know, there, this person wasn't seeing. There, there was a lot of uncertainty here of the path, but they're now getting, again, the epiphanies, the revelations, the aha moments with the tower. Right, that's putting that's putting folks here on the right, finally on the right path. Uh, give me one of this wheel of fortune. So it could be a change in every single area of your life. Um, finance, like I said, financial, emotional, in love, in your home, like a completely new cycle, new timeline. A wheel of fortune. Clarify the wheel of fortune. Feels good. This reading feels good. Let's be grateful for the towers when we get them because sometimes we need them, right? We, we, need, we need help from the spirit, from the divine, from the universe. I posted today in this, uh, yesterday's uh, good morning message on Instagram. I said, the universe said, you go first. I will catch you, meet you. And what was it? I will cat you, catch you, I will meet you, and I will match you. And that's this energy. You go first. Take, get out of this uh, straddling between worlds and take the, act the actual steps. And Jupiter here will multiply it. Jupiter here will match your energy. Will catch you. 
this is Saturn. I know this is not actual Saturn card, but I'm, sometimes I, I get like, you know, Saturn pulling the rug out from under us and Jupiter coming in and catching, right? But, um, so the towers here, that's Scorpio energy. We are in Scorpio season. Yeah, family. Look at that nine of pentacles. This, this pentacle you're holding, eight pentacles plus the pentacle this queen is holding makes nine pentacles. You've been working on your independence, emotional and physical independence for a long time. And it's creating major changes in your life, okay, on every level. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Here comes the, again, this move, this offering, this new beginning, whether it's new love or somebody here that's taken a long time to make their way towards you. The cherry overcoming all of the obstacles here. Focused on, uh, focused. This Knight of Pentacles is focused on the Ten of Pentacles, okay? This, this apology or this offer or this emotional expression is going to change everything. It's going to, you know, it's going to, the wheel is going to turn. And when the wheel of fortune is upright, that's somebody putting themselves on the right side of karma. You know, somebody facing in the right direction. Okay. I have that here. I have that here. I do feel because we have this person facing this way, this knight facing this way, and this page of cups facing that way. I do feel with the straddling, straddling between worlds and the two of pentacles, I do feel that, that this is somebody that has been going through ups and downs, ins and outs, going back and forth. Okay. One day they're going this way, one day they're going this way, one day, you know, uh, for a long time. And it's like... Now that this person has connected to their cancer energy here, we have a Pisces here with the, with the, now that this person has uh, come out of their head and kind of went within and connected with their intuition, um, they, this is somebody that's very intuitive and psychic, okay? Their intuition is guiding them to make this move. Towards the queen. So they're facing the right direction again. Some, but you know, this is somebody that's coming in as a page. So it's shot. They're shy. They're nervous. It's their inner child. They, they struggle with ex emotional expression. Okay. They don't open up uh, very easily. Tell me here about this page of cups. What is this about? That's chariot again. It's about movement forward. Yeah, it's about really putting an end to what needs to end the past. This is somebody that now has direction. It's a vic this this movement, this direction, this action, this emotional expression is going to change everything. It's going to bring in victory. And triumph. This person may ask you out. They may come to your house with the chariot. There's traveling. I, there's traveling. So this person is is gearing up to do this. The two sphinx is, is, the, is this is the yin to your yang, by the way. And the two sphinx here. Somebody's feeling more balanced with the masculine and the feminine as well. This two sphinx is not moving yet. But I feel like this is somebody that's getting in their car. Or, you know, planning to. Uh, another major arcana of movement and change. We have three major arcanas of movement and change. Somebody that's very much focused on you. This person is focused on you. They want to reach out. That's what they're planning on doing. You keep, you are in this law of attraction energy of enjoying your life, enjoying the moment fully. Life is meant to be enjoyed to the fullest. Clarify the tower. So there's offers coming in. Invitations, propositions, proposals. Clarify the tower for Friday. The third. 
The Lovers. I'm not showing it. Well, I can, but if I'm going to cover it. The Lovers. Another major. Okay, so it's a major relationship change. A major change in this um, sacred, divine, twin flame, soulmate connection here. The spiritual connection that you have with somebody, this true love, major change. Possible this week or this month. You know, the tire can, can come in at any time, can come in today, come in tomorrow, right? So, yeah, somebody got a revelation with the moon here. And, it, and I feel it had everything to do with this eclipse, this last eclipse, regarding this relationship, this connection. They're, they're dead set focused here on coming towards you, towards you, okay? If you're the queen of, queen of pentacles. Um, so, <laughs> here are the two lovers flying out the window here of the tower. Give me one more on this lovers. So there's a major revelation. A decision was made, it feels like. A decision is made. Somebody that's been in the two of, um, yeah, that's what it looks like. We saw justice also at the bottom of the deck. Uh, somebody that's been in the two of wands family for a while, not playing it safe, not coming out of their comfort zone, straddling between two worlds. You know, a decision has been made and that's what this is. They're coming towards you. You know, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, right? That message. While you're over here focused on your own emotional stability and security, you know, focus on your peace. Uh, somebody else here is in the process of following their heart with the King of Cups and the Page of Cups. Following their heart. Somebody here is listening to their intu listening and following their intuition. Uh, they got the they got the epiphany, the aha moment, the breakthrough regarding this connection. And, um, and I feel like, yes, this connection is strong, it's powerful, and uh, it does cr create transformation, a major change. It's like coming apart, right? Feeling lost as they lose their old, everything crumbling around them as they use their, lose their old identity because they found true love. True love is the greatest healer. Con love conquers all and transforms all. So... This is somebody that's, uh, you know, uprooting, creating a major uh, life change in their life for true love. Somebody that once upon a time stopped believing in true love because of so much pain and betrayal that they experienced is now opening them, you know, is now seeing the difference between what's not true love and deep love and what is. And they don't, they don't want to... Uh, miss out on this uh, opportunity here because when you don't when you stay stuck in a comfort zone and you don't and you don't leave the past behind that's holding you back hindering you right um you miss out on blessed divine sacred opportunities and the angels see there's a moon here on this lover's card and there's an angel watching over the lovers right they say that this is adam and eve um can i please can you please give me uh one more on the lovers and the tower we have the seven of wands so now that this discovery is made the decision is made. Now somebody is determined here. They want to fight for this. Okay, now that this discovery was made, you go within and you get and you discover hidden treasures within. They get the answers you seek from within. It's a spiritual journey that somebody has been on. Now they want to fight for this. Seven of Wands. They want to stand up for this connection. Once upon a time, somebody is standing up for it and it's creating a tower in their life. Um, stand in their corner, standing up for what they believe. Give me one on the seven of wands. 
I'm, I'm getting a strong energy of somebody protecting this connection. Seven of Wands. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Defending it. Death. Scorpio energy. Double Scorpio. Look at that. This is this right here is somebody watching. Yes, family. Watching, gathering information here. Lurking in the shadows. And this information that this person is gathering is waking them up. They're seeing a different perspective. Um, there's been a pause in this connection. A timeout. And this person has been studying, has been curious, has been watching, has been, you know, and um, we have, we have death. Then I say this love, this love transformed you and somebody else has been transforming this person. They're going through a, a spiritual transformation, a death and a rebirth. Yeah, right here, spiritual awakening, spiritual awakening, learning new things. This is somebody here that, you know is seeking out information internally and externally, okay? This is somebody that is paying attention to the signs and synchronicities. And um, possibly getting, you know, angel numbers and stuff like that. But they are putting an end to something here and finally standing up for themselves. Made the decision, right? I'm also getting here, this could be somebody that could possibly be watching watching lots of watching uh you know you kind of um move on and move forward with your life you know you um giving yourself everything here that you need and um possibly watching you move on there's some information that this person is get getting this is somebody that lacks trust that's trust issues that's why they are the researchers this is somebody that doesn't have all the information they're kind of cloudy Skeptical energy, okay? Very curious. And um, they're finally putting an end to situations, uprooting, putting an end to situations in their life here. And moving on and moving forward with their life with the chariot. But I'm getting also, uh, sorry, I got quieted spirits talking to me. I'm getting also here that the tower moment for somebody here could be that what what they're seeing here is that you know you you could be guarded here and and moving on to a new you took you, you took on a lover or you're taking on a lover or you you're moving on to it's it's over for this person they they can't get back in kind of thing. And that's what's um, creating a tower moment here in this person's life. Yeah, this person was in the Two of Swords energy and the Knight of Wands energy of uh, player playing games, refusing to see in and out of your life. But somebody here is going through a major transformation. I'm mostly leaning more towards Give me one more on the Seven of Wands and that. I'm mostly leaning towards this person is setting boundaries in their life with people in their life, putting en going through endings in their life to protect and defend this connection and what they want because of the other energies I'm getting. Death, clarify death. Putting an end. They're going through, uh, this person is going through possible something legal. Yeah, it's the end of a cycle and a chapter finally for this person. They finally decided to fight for themselves to get what they want and they deserve, stand up for themselves. They could be going through a divorce. They're going through a divorce here. And it's a tower moment. There's a recognition that whatever that they were in was not their love. There was not lovers. It was not their, It was not true love. It was they weren't the one? Though it was just a karmic contract. Somebody's receiving karma with the justice card here. And yeah, for this kind of behavior, possible for this kind of behavior for lying, cheating, sneaking, 
you know, we have quite the strategist here, this person. Um, and they're slowly here with their healing, moving on and moving forward and moving towards, you know, um, a new, a new, a new life, a new opportunity. So yeah, family, somebody is getting a major tower moment in their life. Basically, whatever was still, whatever still kept this person stuck in between worlds, stuck with, you know, they have their back turned to that wand. Whatever was keeping that person still there, that was, uh, you know, whatever habit or pattern or limitation or people or whatever circumstance that was making this person, slowing this person down and making them move very extra slow here towards their destined and blessed path and change that the this this tower here is um moving them forward pushing them forward you know um getting them unstuck here but a final decision here is made a final decision is made so this person here these energies are all energies that turned on this person that um you know pulling is like cords right poor uh, cords that being that, that's cre was creating fragments in this person's soul and energy and that's what's coming to a conclusion here it's coming to a conclusion and remember the eclipse energy the full moon eclipse energy one of the messages in the eclipse card is your situation is reaching a conclusion or something like that this is the conclusion of this uh, battle, this court battle that this person is in over this ending. Well, that's good for this person. If, if you're this person, you're going to, justice will be on your side. Somebody here, you know, stood up for themselves to get what they, are, you know, deserve. To get what they deserve and what they are worthy of. They're finally setting boundaries. They're fi and that's what's creating a major change. Somebody is becoming stronger. Lots of majors. One, two, three, four, five, six major arcanas this, this, this Friday. So, so huge shakeup on Friday. Huge tower moment for somebody. Or it's in the energy for it to happen this weekend. And it might even, might even bleed into middle to, to the end of the month here but major conclusions this is great and that's what's freeing this person the chariot and now they can come towards you major ending i bring you i'm the angel of peace i bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead so one person here is doing great wow Page of Pentacles. And there's another here that um, is wrapping wrapping things up. Wrapping things up in their life. Loose ends. And uh, tell me about this. The, whatever tower this is, it could be whatever they're seeing, whatever news that they're getting. This person has sacrificed true love or you for too, way too long. Um, because that the, the sacred pause with the hanged man is a sacrifice. Clarify. They're not willing to sacrifice you anymore. Clarify uh, the page of cups one more time. Wow, this is your twin flame. This is your twin flame. They're coming for union. They are coming for union with you. This has been quite a journey, very long, night of night of pentacles, years, okay? Years. And now uh, this person is able to make a move, is able to come towards you because they got help from the universe. They got this huge tower. Here it is, an invitation. They're hoping it's not too late. They're hoping it's not too late. Yeah, they're hoping that they, that, they're hoping it's not too late. We have, 
they they know that you're guarded that because you've been wounded by this this person is finally surrendering they're finally surrendering um let's see almost done tell me about this page here of cups this could be a proposition or a proposal uh, something to celebrate here with the four of wands regarding stability, security. This could be a, a, a wedding invite, you know, a baby shower invite, some kind of, you know, celebration. But this is the 1111 card. It's the twin flame card. Tell me about this page of cups. Yeah, so somebody's finally fighting for this. Tell me about this page of cups. It's just so complicated. It's just it's just so complicated. Tell me about this page of cups. Unrevealed secrets. Reciprocity. Ready to surrender. Twin flame union approaching. Fairy tales do exist. That was my yesterday's reading family. Oh my god. Or fairy tales do come true was my the message. Twin flame union approaching. This is very clear. This is a twin flame card. We have two twin flame cards, ready to surrender, and reciprocity. Adjustments are being made. The unrevealed secrets could be the, this, this love that this person feels for you. Could be whatever's going on in their life here. You may not know about. They may not have disclosed that to you. You know, um, <laughs> twin, I can't make this stuff. They're ready to, re that's the unrevealed secrets is their hidden desires and hidden intentions here to a, to a wants towards you. We are divine counterparts. They're ready to release, re uh, remove their false mask. Can I have one more for this um, page of cups here? They have, the reason they're showing up as a page is because they have a lot of fears and anxieties. They do. They do. Because of everything, right? That they've, you know, been through, that they put you through. You know, but they are hoping they can move forward victor. They're getting a victory and a triumph with the with the chariot. Whatever it is here, that's this tower moment that's freeing this person. Um, and it is them standing up for themselves, having the courage to, to, to stand up here for their, for their beliefs and for themselves, which is really helping setting boundaries here, really helping this person to, you know, have, feel a little bit more confident. Yeah. They have been stuck at a crossroads here, two of wands, major intersection for a while in their life. Like I can't start my new life. Until this is resolved. Until this court situation is dealt with or handled. What else? Back to the good old times. That's what they want. That's what they want. Uh-huh. Give me one more for this a Knight of Pentacles and Page of Cups here. Road to Recovery. Right here. The Chariot. And yeah, then I tell you, lurking in the shadows. I said that earlier. Observing your every action here. Watching. Especially with this death card. We saw the page. We saw the, 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 the hanged man. They're, they're stuck. They, they, they can't stop thinking of you. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, we saw the hermit. That's, you know, lurking in the shadows. We saw the page of swords. So whatever that they are watching lurking observing is creating a tower moment for this person they could just be watching you work they could just be watching you you know uh in this very st stable energy very structured very disciplined very abundant energy here okay yeah they're getting ready ready willing and able okay so lurking in the shadows, road to recovery. They're on the road to recovery. And they are observing your every action here. Okay? So. And 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 they're really ready for this change. That's what I'm getting. I'm going to get a couple more here. What else can you tell me about this page of cups?
page of cups. That's why this person is nervous. Because this person stabbed you in the back. You guys are in separation. This person, um, this person got a dose of their own medicine. But still, that's why you know uh, the the the, the uh, they're so nervous about this approach. They're having a lot of anxiety about it. Is because fears and anxieties about back to the good old times. Um, they want the good old days back. They want they want the same. I feel like they know. Uh, uh, anyway, back to this. Uh, um, awaited message arrives. Text, call, email. Here, they want. They're gonna call. They're gonna reach out. They would like, you know, uh, it's clear that they see how much work you put into yourself, how much you changed, but because they're watching you, you know, but they would like the same warm, warm they would like to return back to good old days. They would like to return to the warmth, the nurturing, the attention, uh, the trust, the openness that w once was, right, in the good old days, <laughs> you know. Um, they know that they're going to have to put in right here, eight of pentacles time. They're going to have to surrender their ego here, which I feel that they're doing and fight for this, right? They're still a holding on nine of pentacles, nine of wands. They're going to have to put in the, you know, the effort here. They're going to have to put in the effort, seven of wands, eight of pentacles, so that they can get this, this, this from you again. Okay. Um, the, the sensuality, the nurturing, all of that. So, um, all right, let me get you guys one from this deck. I'm not extending this one. This one's very clear. Back to the good old times. Give me one on this person. This person's energy, the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups. What else can you tell us? Tower moments. Can't make this up, family. <laughs> yeah, something about November 6th, September 26th to November 6th, this tower moment could be happening around... Again, it is a Friday message, right? This weekend. Tower moments. Changes that are difficult but necessary for growth. Moments in life that pushes us to be better and do better because we deserve better. Right here, this person is standing up for themselves. They're like, I had enough. Enough is enough. I feel my life is falling apart. Let me just go ahead and hold this up. I feel my life is falling apart and being pulled apart. No matter what I try to build, things keep crumbling all around me. I wish you were here to help. You are the only thing solid in my life. This is a solid person. Very loyal, dedicated, committed, right? It went in the right vibration, especially connected to these cards. You put in a lot of emotions into this uh, energy. You put in a lot of time, energy, and effort to grow it, to build it, you know? Um probably gave this person your everything here, okay? So, yeah. So, changes. This person is going through uh, tower moments here, okay? Uh, we have spiritual practices, becoming aware to intuition and guides. I, didn't I say that this person was getting angel numbers? You know, we saw the high priestess, the uh, hanged man, the hermit. The Page of Swords, meditating and releasing self-limiting beliefs. Perfect. We saw that. Four of Swords. This is exactly what this person needed to do. Working on inner healing and issues with codependency. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, what this person wants to say, I'm healing myself through meditation and spiritual practice. This is the only way I can make myself whole. Absolutely. So, and that's also what, as within, so without. So... Again, the universe is sitting this person down, striking them with a bunch of lightnings, right? Right there. 
they're, everything around them is falling apart. You know, because it was time for this change. It was time for them to go in a new direction. But they were stubborn, hard-headed, right here. Hard-headed, stubborn, difficult differences, <laughs> you know. Uh, fear, right? Ego and fear was keeping this person from um, the changes that they needed to make in their life. They thought that they could go on like that, on ongoing, being a narc. They thought they could be, you know, but you mirrored you created this tower because you mirrored something very important back to this person about themselves or they met or they met their match and and that match of theirs if this person was uh gaslighty manipulative controlling abusive withheld uh emotionally unavailable rude petty vindictive spiteful you know all of the things, right? This person met somebody like exa exactly like that, that they entangled themselves with. They gave them a dose of their own medicine, okay? But I'm also getting, with this being a twin flame relationship, there's a lot of things you've mirrored to this person about themselves. Yeah, and when we, ha when we have the crumbling, we the, the tower moment can be as drastic as us losing everything, all of our friends, family, our home, our job, our car, our relationship, all at the same time, right? Or it could be just a simple revelation. It could be, you know, um, things just not going our way, right? <laughs> One bad luck after another. You know, that's because we keep trying to force and control situations. If it's not working, that's not your door, right? So... You, that means you're meant to go in another direction. The universe has something better that's more smooth, smoother road ahead, that's more in alignment and more balanced, you know, with your destined path. That's where you're meant to go. You were going the wrong direction. Uh, the, this tower that was built in this person's life or yours wasn't built on a solid foundation, built on integrity, honesty, truth, values, morals. We, I saw web of lies somewhere here. Web of lies. Okay. It wasn't built on true love. Wasn't built on, you know, somebody operating from their higher self, from their moral code of conduct, virtuous energy. You know, wasn't built on, again, honesty, truth, integrity, true love, unconditional love. It was built by this person. Uh, having this conditioning, programming, woundings, old identity, wearing a mask, right? We saw that. Manipulative, uh, which if you have to manipulate people to being with you, be, be aware that you're going to get people that are not authentic because you're not being authentic, right? So it's like if you have to trick people, play people, manipulate them into loving you or staying with you and being with you, then you're not going to get real love, true love that way. You're going to get, a, you know, a, a false version of that person, right? You're going to get somebody that really wasn't themselves with you, okay? That wasn't authentic, that's not being authentic with you because you don't know if this person would truly unconditionally love you or not because you're not showing them your true self. So it's like if you don't show them your true self, uh, eventually the mask will come off and people, you will see people for who they are and you're like, oh no, uh, <laughs> this is not what I signed up for, you know what I mean? And, 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 or your true mask come off and this person is like not accepting you or loving you unconditionally, okay? Not truly seeing you. They see you as a fake, a fraud, a phony, a liar because you showed up that way. So it's like, that's why it's important for people to just really be themselves from the jump, from the get go. You know, so that there is no misunderstandings, right? So there is no, uh, you know, like show exactly who you are right off the jump. And not have to try to play games, hide, sneak, you know, because you won't get, you'll get somebody. I, I'm also getting, it's also important for you to really see a person in all of their ways, in every single, how they grieve, you know, how they are when something is delayed, uh, how they, in, in every single um, area of someone's life, right? In, in, in all of their ways before you decide whether or not you, this is gonna be the person for you, okay? How they are when they're sick, how they are when they are, you know, 
treated rudely by a stranger, how they are in, in family conflicts, how they are, how they handle themselves when they, you know, experience losses, right? Uh, what they do about it. It's important to really see a person's, how they are in every single way. Because the last thing you want to do is uh, marry somebody and then the second they get sick, they start, they treat you like shit. Like you're, like they're entitled to, to, to your help and they yell at you and curse at you, you know, uh, if, if you're, if you don't do something the way they would like you to do it, um, how a person grieves is really important. You know how many people go through divorce after they experience loss because, uh, people grieve differently, right? Um, some people just stay angry and they never get over it and they never do anything to heal, right? And, and, and puts that anger on the on their partner and things like that. So, again, you want to attract somebody in the difficult differences, differences of opinions and ideas and love. This is exactly what, what, what the issue is here with this tower, right? This person's energy, they're bumping heads with somebody. It could be cultural differences as well. You know, difference in status, money, power, culture. One awakened while the other is unawakened. That could be this dynamic, right? This person hasn't been awakened for a long time and you are, you know? Let's see here. It could also be, you know, whatever this person is, is coming out of. They're coming out of a situation of somebody that, that doesn't have the same values, morals. Again, lack of really... Again, the, one of the most other most important thing is: Can we connect emotionally? Are we connected emo on emotional level? Deep intimacy and emotional uh, connection is really important before you get together with somebody in a legal contract, right? It's like this: It's like if I don't have emotional connection, I I'm not going to sit there and try to force it and settle and try to fight with somebody for them to open up to me. I, I know it's not going to work if we can't connect emotionally, kind of thing, you know. Uh, let's read the message. Our differences drove us apart and it angered me that you didn't understand where I was coming from. It still pains me we can't come to an agreement even if we love each other. So, again, um, it could be that this person is experiencing that in, this, in, 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 the, in whatever situation that this is. That they're defensive. They're standing their guard. They're fighting. They're fighting here, right, with somebody in their life. It could be you, okay? That you had a tower moment with this person because you guys have different values, different belief systems, different raised differently, different cultures, different races, different money backgrounds, right? It's like this. It's like, will will can I be with somebody that has not gone considering my life? What I went through in my life since birth until my spiritual awakening and everything changed for me, right? Would I be would, would would I be able now at this point where I am to be with somebody that hasn't gone through something, that hasn't gone through trauma, that hasn't gone through hardships, that hasn't gone through, you know, dark night of the soul, that hasn't gone through, you know, I wouldn't say the same, but like grief and pain and similar types of situ you know somebody that was raised healthy with like both their parents and you know with a silver spoon in their mouth you know that hasn't gone through any anything in life really right will they will i be able probably not okay probably not because i don't feel like this person will ever truly see me understand me you know uh things like that right it's like a completely different uh upbringings completely different uh, just going just thinking back story time just thinking back to my ex-husband his upbringing versus mine completely different okay the way he with his parents uh raised him the way that i was not raised right um and, and status wise as well right the way that he was taught about money versus how what i was taught about money with my, completely different views different values and it's like i had a more of an open mind and he was not able to understand me uh, or really truly see me because he did not experience any trauma not the if he had experienced his level of trauma or whatever trauma for him it wasn't nowhere near as severe or as uh, or close to what I've experienced in my life. So he wasn't able to truly 
understand um, my PTSD uh, or um, or relate or resonate or you know because we can only meet others as deeply as we meet ourselves and it's like he never really went and met himself uh, and dealt with whatever his pains were right so it's just so much deeper than that and, and a lot longer of a message than we're we're running out of time here. I keep ending the reading at 111. <laughs> so watch your thoughts, family. You're ma manifesting very rapidly. But yeah, I mean, there's recovery that's taking place, you know, and it's like, especially now if you're dating for marriage, you know, as I mentioned in uh, yesterday's reading, it's important that you your energy is very powerful because you have gone through your spiritual awakening, your ascension, right? You're magical and mystical and an enigma and intriguing and very sensitive to energy. So to absorbing, you know, negative energy and things like that. So it's very important that, you know, you, you, you could come into a line with, with people that are in need of healing and your light and your love, okay, and they can become um, obsessive or want a lot of want a lot more of your of your energy than you know. Especially if you're used to being on your own and you're used to being by yourself and you're used to you've learned how to be on your own. You mastered self love and you really enjoy your own energy. And then all of a sudden, there's somebody that wants all of your energy, all of your time, and it's like you know, <laughs> that it's important that you communicate, right? Um, and, uh, and you express yourself that in the, your independence and their independence, you know, them being busy and you being busy, it's important, right? To have your own individual lives. And then when the time comes for you guys to come together, if that boundary or whatever isn't respected, you know, then it's time to abort shit right so uh it's, it's really that simple family anyways um use your words right use your voice to communicate your needs you know and your wants and your desires um it's very important so work on your throat chakra so you do have somebody here that stabbed you in the back uh, that wants to come talk, that wants to apologize, that wants to reconcile, that wants this reunion, that wants to move forward. You have free will. You're in really good energy uh, to decide on whether or not you want to accept this person back. You don't have to. Maybe you can just get the forget the the apology and and give them their forgiveness. I feel like maybe now they might want to work it out if this is you that they're having these difficult differences with, right? They want to apologize. They want to compromise and work it out. There's definitely some differences here, okay? That somebody kept trying and trying and trying to, to, to make it balanced, to make it work, but somebody just was not budging, okay? And now I feel like now they may want to <laughs> give this a shot. So, all right, family, I'll see you tomorrow for the monthly, for the November, uh, for the week in November reading. Let's see what else wants to come through as far as this tower for the weekend and for the month. Um, I'll probably in that reading get the weekend message, but then I'll also get the month as well. So uh, we'll do both. I love you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great Friday. God bless you and I'm going to say thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Much love family. Till next time.